Yo, this is uh This is B Floyd aka Mr. Shawboy Born. And uh basically trying to uh, do a uh recording or update to the 2.4 machine uh software. Uh, so people ask me, can I do an update to show them how would you do it on a new software? So I figure I uh, do an update is basically the same kind of walkthrough. Um, let me see. So it's basically the same setup uh, from what uh, what from what you usually do. It's the same. Uh, still drag and drop uh, your samples and everything so I'm opening up machine right now and uh, let's go ahead and open up a kit uh, so I'm gonna go open up one of my uh, this is the new setup too uh, on machine where you can save your favorites whether it's uh, whether it's uh, drum kicks or sounds or effects and you want to save it to your favorites you basically on the machine software or machine if you see uh, you can you gotta be in your browser as soon as you hover over uh, say like you hover over this drum kick right here this uh, drum kick and you want it to make it your favorite on machine you hit your browser and once you hover over it you hit the shift button and you'll see it it'll say uh, set fave and you just set click set fave and it set your fave let's go to this one we're gonna do it on this one where my cursor is you see it has light gray you hit shift and hit set fave Let's see. Okay, it's, it's not for some reason. It's not doing it. Okay, let me let me stroll down to uh, this kick. That's what this probably is. Okay, so like we go to this concrete. It's on con concrete garden kick. Hit shift, set fave, and why will you come off of it? It's going to be. Uh, it's going to have a start by. Basically, on your. Uh, on your machine, you're going to have to stroll to the kick you want to set to favorite because it has to be highlighted. Uh, that's what I just realized. Usually on the software uh, by itself, I don't usually have to do that. I can just hover it over the star and it does that. But I guess because you're in a, uh, using it as a plug-in inside of a DAW. So we're going to go ahead and just load up any one of these kits. Uh, I just load up this one since I got it set to fave. So that's the kit, and so like we want to, it's already a pattern in here, as you see right here, and I want to basically connect it to uh, the DAW, which I'm going to end up exporting as a uh, MIDI file. So one thing, do still the same thing, batch group, MIDI notes. Let me do that again, batch group. Go to group batch setup and then click MIDI notes. The other one is the MIDI the channel. That's if you are using machine and you want to have these 16 pads as hooked up to 16 individual tracks up on here. Where well, it's going to be 15 because machine is going to be the one. And all the other kicks on here is going to be 2 to 15. Well, 2 to 16. That's what you want to use as for this uh, particular setup if you want to go sounds to MIDI channel. But we're doing sounds to MIDI note because we're dragging the uh, MIDI file over to Logic Pro X. So next we're going to do is go, you can go do the same thing on, uh, you can do it from the machine or you can do it from the software. You're going to go to channel which is going to click over to your pad. You see how that just 
switch, which is between where you see the channel and the plugin. You're gonna go to channel, it's gonna switch over to your input and output in your micro setting, and you're going to go to the MIDI tab. So you have to click uh, where it says output and the last button, and go over where well, you're gonna go to output, and actually you're gonna hit the right tab, and then keep tapping over till you get to your MIDI. Now your MIDI, your destination is going to be, well, you want to make sure that it says none. I forgot. You got to go to your group, which is your, uh, let's see. I don't remember how to do this. Okay. Let's see. Um, I believe it's your input, which I'm, yeah, input, and you want to go to group, input, then where it says active you want it on and that should be good for that one so now it comes where you basically want to export so you basically just drag this over and there go your files now the test comes in where you want to see if it's going to play uh everything that you have in your your pad first you want to take this off because you this is going to play as long and that or this may be a uh coming may just play just the first one and sound kind of crazy so that's why you want to make sure that this is taken off and next thing you know we're going to play this if you everything plays in there, that means you actually did it right if it doesn't that mean something wasn't did that's supposed to be done so uh let's go ahead and play it Okay, so everything worked it just the way it's supposed to work. So we're gonna basically go through the walk, walk, go through the walkthrough again. Uh, let me go ahead and put this back. You have the group right here. What you want to do is go to here, group MIDI batch to MIDI notes. Then you want to make sure on your group tab that you go to your input, click active. You don't really need to click MIDI through not unless you're doing uh, not unless you're doing the MIDI MIDI uh, sounds to channel with MIDI channel you only want to click that when you're doing that and you got all the pads because you're saying this is saying all channels so you don't really need this if you're dragging the MIDI notes you only need to click this if you got this going to two and then the next one going to three you're telling this the MIDI through two or MIDI through three, MIDI through four, each pad's going all the way down because we're doing all channels so this can play all of the MIDI files that's all the notes that send this particular MIDI file. So and and drag it and that's it. Nothing has really changed as far as the 2.4 uh, setup as far as uh, dragging and dropping. And uh, also was new on here as far as I see that it is, well, I've been waiting for them to do this, uh, is basically has everything from your manufacturer plugins in its own folder, which is a relief because before you had to just stroll down trying to remember what's the name of the plugin and normally there's no names. So wave was all over uh if you have fat filter it was all over everywhere so you had to stroll or stroll down the f and it would took so long just to do that process so this is one of the things that i'm glad they did um as far as i see it is you can put 30 parties um contact 
uh, instruments depending on if it has the the uh, NKS standard uh, uh, setting you can actually it'll be in this section which I have none so uh, it all it all I have is contact so um, this is basically just it as far as I can see if any updates and um, that's probably the two new features I think more so is just the update for the uh, KNS standard uh, software so it can be able to uh, work if you ever end up getting keyboard which uh, is a, to me is a wager between the uh, the Akai uh, Advanced Pro and this one and and the, the control uh, that's is like a toss-up between me because um, they both are good and I like the uh, Kaya Pro uh, Advanced Pro because it already has uh, a well round VSTs that you can be able to get into where um, complete uh, control has only a selected few which is not saying it's a bad thing and I think they're going to end up doing that uh, probably in the next uh, probably like mid next year where it opens up to everything but it's good to see everything is starting to uh, uh, be resourceful uh, when it comes to VSTs because uh, of Pro Tools uh, switching everything to AXX and uh, people have a lot of stuff tied in they use VST so that's basically it um, if you have any other questions uh, feel free to ask uh, if you have any uh, response just leave the comment uh, you can get in touch with me shopboy7 at twitter uh, also instagram is uh, b underscore fluid um, Daniel Hampton on Facebook and Mr. Shaboy Born on SoundCloud. Uh, I have beats and stuff posted up there. I need to start back getting into it. I've been uh, busy lately, uh, either trying to find work or trying to find uh, or end up working. Uh, so just gotta keep in touch. Peace out. God bless. One.